Yo, 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 it's your boy Wes the Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow in your craft. Now, today we're going to go over the new sign up fees for BMI and ASCAP, all right? So, if you're recording an artist who hasn't signed up for a performing rights organization yet, and you're actually deciding between BMI and ASCAP, then this is the perfect video for you. Because in this video, I'm going to explain the new sign-up fees in regards to both of these performing rights organizations, all right? Now, before I continue, I definitely want to let you guys know about my free music business checklist that's available on my website to download right now, all right? If you're an artist who's looking into starting your own music business and you don't exactly know where to start then this is the perfect thing for you all you got to do is actually click on the link above and it'll take you to my website where you can actually download that checklist for free and that checklist is going to give you three things that you can do right away to start your own music business all right i will also leave a link to that to that page in the descriptions below all right now when it comes to signing up for a performing rights organization it is extremely extremely important so if you haven't done it yet i strongly urge you to do it as soon as possible but the good news is because you haven't done it yet you are actually able to do something that a lot of artists who are already signed up with aren't able to do all right and the reason i say that is because both bmi and ascap has actually changed something when it comes to their sign up fee all right now if you want to know what it was before you know a lot of my videos before i talk about choosing between them and honestly as it boils down to both of them they're pretty much the same all right you're not looking at big differences in percentages and that they keep and things like that they're very, 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 very similar to the point that the only thing that you're really deciding between is, okay, which one, which perks do I like most, all right? So when it comes to a lot of artists, most artists really went with BMI because BMI was free and ASCAP, there was a sign-up fee for it. So most artists went with BMI, right? BMI was free, ASCAP, you had to pay $50, but both of those sign-up fees have changed, which means that there may be changes to signups and how people may sign up to these both companies moving forward because of these changes all right and in this video i just wanted to highlight those changes for both of those companies all right so starting with bmi like i mentioned before bmi was free bmi was the one that i always recommended because it was free when you're an independent artist and you haven't you know gathered any income yet as an artist and anything like that and you're pretty much starting from scratch bmi was the one for you because there's nothing that you have to pay in order to sign up for it and like i said that between ascap is subtle differences right but now i'm afraid that bmi may not be the mess the best performing rights organization to choose moving forward because their sign up fee is no longer free their sign up fee now is 75 dollars all right you actually have to pay 75 dollars to be a to register as a writer and to or a composer all right so you have to pay 75 dollars now but before it was free this is a big change when it comes to choosing between the two because number one it's more than ascap ascap was only 50 bmi is now 75 dollars and number two if you want to sign up as a publishing company it's even more so than the 75 dollars i believe it's either 150 or 250 i forgot what the exact number was but it's a lot more now to sign up with bmi and become a member of bmi than it was before considering that before it was absolutely free all right so if you're considering bmi because it was free before i'm telling you you can scratch that off the list because it is no longer free you actually have to pay 75 dollars if you want to be a member of bmi now it's a one-time fee it's not something that you're going to always have to pay it's just a one-time fee but it, that is the fee and if you just need a little bit more proof here's where it says right under their website what the cost is to be a member and as you can see it says 75 dollars all right so that's what the change is for bmi specifically now when it comes to ascap ascap has some changes too but the only catch is the ascap change is not permanent the ascap change is actually temporary all right and what i mean by that is the fee for ascap is still 50 dollars. all right so between the two ascap is now the more affordable one because we went from free versus 50 to now 50 versus 75 dollars all right so ascap is now cheaper than bmi however 
Currently speaking, as of right now, as of February 2023, ASCAP is suspending their sign-up fees for artists, all right? Now, it's probably, maybe it's due to COVID and, and things like that, and I don't know, you know, that they, they put a disclaimer on there, you know, they're, they're basically saying, you know, artists has been going through a lot. So they want to help us as artists. So they have actually suspended the sign up fee for ASCAP, which is actually kind of hilarious when you think about it, because if they suspend it, that means that it's free for songwriters and publishing. If you want to sign up as a songwriter and a publisher, it'll be absolutely free. If you want to sign up only as a publisher, there is still a fee. But if you want to sign up for a writer, composer and publisher, it is absolutely free. And to me, that's absolutely hilarious because it's almost like they switch places even though for ascap it's temporary it's not going to be like this forever it's temporarily suspended which means that eventually they'll go back to the 50 dollars fee but it's funny because bmi was free ascap was 50 dollars now ascap is free and bmi is 70 dollars it's like they switch places at least for the time being all right so if you're really really considering on getting ascap and you always wanted to get it, but you didn't want to get it because of the $50 fee. Now is the time to get it. And if you're an artist who always wanted to go with BMI, but you didn't sign up for it when it was free, then you missed your moment. Now you have to actually pay $75 to get with BMI, all right? So you might as well just go with ASCAP as well, because as of right now, ASCAP is the better deal when it comes to the performing rights organizations as a whole in the U.S., all right? Now, I also want to let you guys know, if you're, if you're in another country, you have to look up the performing rights organizations in your country, because when it comes to performing rights organizations, they are country specific. So all the ones that I'm mentioning in this video are only for artists in the U.S. If you're in another country, you have to look up the performing rights organization for your country, all right? For here in the U.S., we have BMI, we have ASCAP, and we have CSAC. But honestly and truly, it's really BMI and ASCAP. CSAC, I don't know, for some reason, most people don't go to it. It's typically either BMI or ASCAP, all right? So moving forward, now you know the new prices between the two. BMI is $75, ASCAP is $50, but as of right now, it's suspended for the time being. It's a temporary suspension, so hop on it if you haven't signed up for it. But either way, if you take too much longer to sign up for either one of them, understand that at one some point in time, you, you will be paying for one way or the other, right? When I signed up for BMI, it was free. If you sign up for ASCAP right now, it'll be free. If you wait too long, you're gonna either have to pay $75 or $50. So I urge you, don't make this a big, uh, bigger headache than it needs to be. Like I told you before, they're not that much different in between the two, all right? It's really a preference thing, all right? The percentages are about the same. And the, the only thing that you're really looking at is the differences in the perks between ASCAP and BMI. But uh, so honestly, the only thing you're really thinking about when it comes to signing up between those two is the price, right? And as of right now, ASCAP has the best price considering all the circumstances of it being of them temporarily suspending the actual application fee, all right? So go for it. Make sure you get that signed up with just to give you a fun fact for any one of you who actually stayed until the end of this video, that checklist that I that I have free on my website, one of those things is this very thing that we're talking about right now, signing up for a performing rights organization. If you want to start a music business, this is one of the primary things that you got to do. So this is one of the three things that I mentioned in that checklist for you to do. So if you don't know anything about performing rights organizations, I strongly, strongly urge you to look into it. Sign up for one of these companies and get that situated because you're absolutely going to need that if you want to legitimately start your own music business, all right? But that's pretty much it. That's what this video was about. I just wanted to let you know about the changes when it comes to BMI going from free to $75 and ASCAP going from or staying at $50, but now suspending that application fee, which means that it is currently free for the time being. So again, if you want to take advantage of that, take advantage of it now because it's not going to be like that forever, all right? But that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys have any additional questions or concerns in regards to BMI, ASCAP, or anything else like that, please feel free to leave comments in the comment section below. I'm here to help you as an independent artist, all right? 
Also, if you also want something more in depth as far as what you need to do to start your music business, I strongly, strongly urge you to grab my ebook here, The 13 Steps to Jumpstart Your Music Business. Because in this ebook, I highlight everything that I did to put myself in a position to do music full time. All right, I've been doing music for full time for years now, and I want the same thing for you as an independent artist, all right? And in this ebook, it'll show you all the things that you need to do in order to do that. And wink, wink, PRO or signing up for a PRO slash performing rights organization is one of those things that's in this book. It's one of the 13 steps, all right? If you wanna know the other 12, make sure you go ahead and grab that ebook, all right? The links are in the uh, descriptions as well if you wanna get that as well, all right? But that's pretty much it, guys. Those are the new sign-up costs for both BMI and ASCAP. I don't know how that's gonna change as far as for you, as far as your decision-making goes, but I feel like it's only right to let you guys know about this. And if you already signed up for one, you got nothing to worry about. You already set like I am. But for those of you who haven't signed up yet, now is the time, all right? But either way, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Can't nobody yeah. hold me. Yeah. Can't no. nobody yeah. hold me. I'm feeling yeah. like Daniel. Yeah. Big Daddy. Yeah. Can't yeah. nobody yeah. face me. Yeah. Can't I'm feeling like Joseph. Joseph. Big Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. Can't yeah. nobody face me.